How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Shodan. Now, for those of you that don't know what Shodan is, Shodan is the search engine for IP addresses, products, ports, you name it, on the internet. It's, it's a pretty powerful tool when you're doing reconnaissance on a business, a city, uh, if you just want to do research on what products are being pushed out into the world. Uh, it's a pretty helpful tool. Now there's Shodan and there's also Binary Edge. Uh, I'm just going to be covering Shodan today since I have more experience with Shodan, but there is an alternative to Shodan called Binary Edge. So uh, please check out both products. They're both well worth a mention. I just, I'm familiar with Shodan. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to be basically covering everything from a basic search to the different kind of filters you can use all the way to doing research online to find products of that manufacturer on the internet. So let's just get straight into it. So uh, it's a, like I said, it's like a search engine for IP addresses and products. So let's just do a basic search and we'll do Siemens. Now Siemens is a uh, ICS manufacturer. So we're just going to type in Siemens. So everything on the internet that has uh, either in the FTP banner, HTTP banner, or just, I guess, any banner uh, that matches Siemens will show up here. So we have 11,834 results and it will highlight right here what you typed in. So Siemens, Siemens. So all of these uh, devices right here appear to be ICS. Um, now, one thing you could see right here when you go into Shodan is you get these little tags right here. So you see Honeypot, ICS, uh, and then you might see like RDP, anything like that. So in this case, we got a few tags of Honeypot and ICS. Um, and then on the left-hand side right here, you could see that it's filtered down by country. So United States, Germany, uh, top services, HTTP and such, top organizations. So sometimes the organizations will be split up either by the ISP or the actual organization itself. And the way Shodan determines that is if that IP address is within an autonomous system. And the autonomous system is basically organization has these IP addresses. Uh, top operating systems, so an unauthenticated check of what operating system they're running. Uh, and then top products. Uh, so again, this would be from the banner, so Pro FTP, Conpot, and whatever. So that's a basic search on Shodan. Now let's move on to searching things in a city, in a country, uh, and in a state. Uh, I believe the state only works uh, in the United States. I don't know if you could do by Providence, like in Canada, but let's just do country. So the country, and then this will be the two or two digit ISO code. Um, so you can just look up whatever country you live in or whatever country you wanna look up the two digit ISO code. So for, for this case, the US will just be US. So we'll do country, US, and we're gonna get all the results that fit within United States, and you can see we have 170 million unique IP addresses uh, within the country United States. Moving on, we could do city. So this will break it down by city. Uh, so you can see right here, we have Los Angeles, San Jose, and such like that. So if there's a city that is disambiguous, you can do city and then match it with the state uh, one as well. So we'll do, um, I don't know, you could do uh, Tacoma, and then you could do state. Well, I don't think there's more than one Tacoma in the United States, but you could break it down so it matches both of those parameters. Um, so Shodan, just the basic search, it, it runs on a somewhat Boolean expression or Boolean operator basically matches both of those. Uh, the only way you get the not uh, Boolean operator in there is if you do something like this. So if you do minus in front of whatever you're searching, and obviously we're gonna get no results because there's no other Tacoma, Washington out there. Um, and then same thing, I just showed you state, you could do state, uh, WA, CA, whatever the, the state two digit code is. Okay, moving on. So let's scan, we're not scan because we're not doing any scanning here. So Shodan does the scanning on your behalf and it just indexes all the results. And actually on the, the search uh, results, it'll tell you when this was found. Uh, but let's search uh, a CIDR range. Now, a CIDR range, if you're unfamiliar with um, classless, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> it's, just, it's been a while. Uh, but basically, it's an IP range using like a slash notation. So we're going to do net, and that's what you use as the net uh, search term. And then we're just going to do 8.0.0.0 slash 8. 
Oh, I got a period at the end that might, oh no, okay. But we're gonna get all of the results for that entire IP range. Moving on, if you wanna search a specific IP address, you do IP, and we'll just use Google DNS. Um, so IP colon 8.8.8.8. And right here we get the um, result for that specific IP address. You click on it and you can see uh, the results for it. So it has port 53 open and also 443. Um, sometimes it will say like right in this, or last update. So this is where you see it, sorry. I, I could have swore it was up here, but uh, you can see the last update. So this IP address was last scanned uh, today. Um, and then it gives you the time in Zulu, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. But it gives you information like the country it's in, the organization, the ISP, the host name, and then the autonomous system number. So now let's search uh, ports. So these are just services running, you know, on port 22, 23, whatever. So let's find all ports running on, um, let's say 23. So it's port colon 23. So we have 4.3 million results, and these are gonna be uh, Telnet. So most of these are gonna be running Telnet. Again, you could break it down, uh, country, uh, country, uh, US. Uh, so now we're gonna get all the results for port 23 in the United States. If we wanna get all the results outside of the United States, you just do minus country, US, and then you'll get results for every thing outside of the US. You could see the U United States is not highlighted here. Um, and then if you want to filter out more countries, you're just going to have to continue on with country. I don't think you could do like a comma US CA or whatever. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we got IP range port. We skipped over uh, AS. So let's go to Hurricane Electric BGP HE. We will just look up a, uh, the autonomous systems for uh, University of Washington. So we'll take AS73, go back here, and then we'll type in ASN colon, and then paste uh, the autonomous system number with the AS in front of it, hit enter, and then we're gonna get the results for that specific autonomous system. Uh, so we got 10,000 results, but uh, some organizations, like in this case, University of Washington, uh, will have other ASNs. So this leads us into the next, uh, next search parameter, and that's the org search parameter. So in this case, if we type in org, and we were to copy this, link right here so like university of washington uh you throw that into here university of washington we have ten thousand results with this specific as uh, uh let me go back oopsie and put this in quotes so if you put something in quotes that means it's going to take it literally so it's not going to be searching for university and of and washington it's going to be searching for university of washington so we have ten thousand results here um and if we go back to this as so 10,000. So I guess AS73 is the main autonomous system at University of Washington, which is cool. Um, but that's how you look up by autonomous system. Moving on, hash. So let me grab a Shodan hash. That in HTTP favicon hash. And I believe this is just the MD5 hash. But basically this uh, search parameter HTTP.favicon.hash uh, is looking for the favicon. Now, if you don't know what favicon is, it's basically like this logo up here this logo, you know, this logo, basically it's looking for that hash value. Cause in this case, sometimes you'll have uh, results coming back from like um, uh, web pages that might be a little different than one another. But if a product is shipped out, it will typically have the same favicon hash or some sort of uh, identifier to that specific product. Uh, in this case, we're getting results for, um, I don't know actually what this is. Uh, I believe it is a home automation system, but so you can either input uh, an MD5 or a SHA-1 hash, um, but at Shodan we use a numeric hash for the most efficient storage. For example, here's a modified banner. Well, I will put a whole the 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 read up on here on the Shodan Help Center about property hashes and how to do it. I personally, <laughs> I'm quite noobish at this, but this is something that I have come across a few times. Um, but if you find like a this hash right here, you could use that. Uh, I find that pretty helpful with access uh, surveillance cameras. Uh, but yeah, moving on screenshot. So this one is actually kind of cool. So if we do, um, so this, uh, search right here has underscore screenshot colon true. Basically all the results are going to have a screenshot like this right here. And most of the time it's going to be RDP or VNC. Uh, but sometimes you could get things like yaw cam web viewer and we have 500 results for that. 
Uh, and then we also have another webcam one right here. And basically these are people's uh, webcams at their house. Uh, and it also has a screenshot. So the, the, the good thing about the screenshots is you don't physically go on the device to see what you know that IP is running. Shodan does that for you. Again, I wanna reiterate, viewing this stuff right here on Shodan is not illegal. It's once you connect and start doing things on that uh, IP address or that device, that's when things get a little uh, on the gray line. But right here, just looking at all this information, it is totally fine. You're totally fine doing this. If you just wanna stay on the safe side, just look at everything. Don't do anything with these uh, specific uh, IPs. But again, you can filter this down. Uh, we could do port, um, you know, 80 or whatever. And it's gonna match, has a screenshot and port 80. And then right here we have uh, screenshots. Uh, again, we have access camera. Uh, we have someone's read meter for whatever that is. Uh, inside warehouses, uh, moving on, traffic cams. Uh, access, so so here's another favicon that I like to look at. So you can see down here, uh, favicon hash, 1616 whatever if we're to click on that um and we just go off that favicon hash right here uh we have twenty six thousand results of access cameras and these are all surveillance cameras okay moving on does not include i already talked about that so if we do uh, minus http favicon hash it's going to give us all the results that don't have that so it's going to be still millions of ips this is actually going to take a bit to load up <laughs> okay so moving on to finding things to look for so shodan what i use it for is again like i said reconnaissance on a business or just i guess internet searching of things um basically what I get the most value out of Shodan is searching for ICS, medical equipment, and other automation things on the internet, and then various other um, IoT devices and such like that. So what I want to do is if I'm doing research on like uh, medical devices or you know pumping systems, I'll actually just go straight to Google and type in top automation companies. And then we got stuff right here like Emerson, Rockwell Automation, Fortiv, GE, Simons, Honeywell, Mitsubishi Electric. And basically the way I start from there is just search that vendor name and see what shows up. So let's go to Roper Technologies. I have no idea what this is, no idea what they're all about, but we're just gonna search Roper Technologies and we might not get anything, I don't know. And if any results come back, then we'll just keep digging into that. So let's go to Honeywell actually. So only 309 devices, uh, we have logins. So we want to filter out everything that is uh, RDP. So 3389. So minus port 3389. That's going to remove all of the RDP uh, things in here. And then we, bam, right here. Vendor name Honeywell International Inc. So we'll copy that. Throw that in the quotes right here. Search that. And now we have 103 results of random ICS that are running Honeywell because we have a known... I guess, thing that is deployed in Honeywell systems, which is vendor name Honeywell International, uh, firmware 12, whatever, model name XL Web 2. If we search that right here, we could see that uh, this, I guess, PLC Honeywell, let's see, programmable universal backnet building controller. I don't know what that is, but it's on the internet. Model name Eagle. So if we look up Honeywell Eagle, it's going to be another controller. So yeah, on the internet. You can also do the search uh, ICS by tag, but you need an enterprise account for that. Uh, but Mac Pro, Re Pro Web, Pro Web, I can't talk right now, jeepers. That's what I do. I look online to find manufacturers of whatever I'm looking at. So if it's ICS, if it's medical equipment, I'll try to find something by searching just the vendor name and uh, digging deep a little bit from there. Uh, another thing that I also do is I try to find the user guides for those, uh, you know, whatever ICS or medical equipment I'm looking for. Uh, and that's usually readily available online. You just type in, you know, device name, uh, user guide, and it will give you things that might help you in your search by, you know, it'll show like a screenshot of like the web UI and you can pull out things of that, you know, UI and either search that on Google by doing Google dorking, or you could throw that into Shodan. And you also might get information like the default credentials to that device. And you can probably log in from there. Not saying you should do that, but you know, if you own a piece of equipment that you just don't know the uh, username and password to, uh, you can probably just look it up that way. So let's type in Mitsubishi Electric. I know this one's actually kind of a big one. Air conditioning control system. Cool. Right out the top. Uh, let's actually visit one real quick. Uh, please wait. Moving the page to 
moving to the page of your language. Uh, but right now, like we have 81 results. We have uh, hydronics and IT cooling systems. And then GE, of course, uh, searching for products and explore tab. So there's another area in Shodan that actually is kind of cool. It's the explore tab. Basically, this allows you to look for the top voted searches and the most recently shared searches. Obviously, the top one's going to be webcams. That's very easy to find on Shodan, and I don't condone any searching of people's webcams. Uh, so you're free to find and figure out how to do that yourself. I'm just going to go to most recent searches. Now, right here, you could see most recent searches people have been looking for. Uh, but keep in mind that you are limited to how many searches you could do on Shodan. Uh, so the best thing you could do is just to see what the actual search is by hovering over uh, the tab because 1v1, I think that's like a gaming server or something like that. But you can see down here uh, on the bottom left says weather plus wing plus WS2. I, what? That, that, what? Anyways, uh, but CSGO matchmaking servers, you can see that the query down here is Counter-Strike Global Offensive Org Valve, Corp, uh, Valve Corporation. Uh, but yeah, you can just keep clicking on um, and you can see, you know, network area storage, uh, sorry, network area storage. I'm so stupid. Network attached storage for NAS. I'm so stupid for saying area. Uh, and then you can also search by CVE, which I will get into a bit. Uh, and then they also have a lovely API, which everyone gets if you pay for their premium account. It's 50 bucks for a lifetime. Uh, they do typically have a Black Friday sale where it's only five bucks. Uh, Shodan is also free or discounted for current students. Uh, so if you are a student, I believe it's cheap or free. I don't know. What's that? It's free if you're a student. So if you're a student, uh, definitely take advantage of this because you get it for life. Um, and yeah, they also have other things up here. Like if you want to make an API, uh, your API key will be up here. Uh, and they also have a very user-friendly, uh, I guess, API development tooling thing. Uh, there are some things on GitHub that you can use that are pre-built and you type in your search term and it'll throw everything into an output file for you. Uh, I'll put a link down to that uh, down below. So they got other things in here. So they got maps, images. So images is basically just that screenshot thing that I was talking about. They also have a uh, Firefox plugin. So if you were to go to like, uh, I don't know, Google, you could see right here that we have this and it'll tell us the ports open on that website. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll probably make more uh, videos uh, about Shodan later on, but if you appreciate content like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. If you could share this with every single person you know, uh, you know, that would greatly you know help out. And we also, when I say we, uh, I guess, yeah, it's we, because we all helped out. Just past 420, I was about to say 1,000, I wish, 420 subscribers. So, you know, I don't know. That's funny, I guess. <laughs> 420. It looks like weed. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, you all have a fine and dandy day. Thank you.